through our whole California swing, it was a struggle. Those were all tracks that I feel like we should have been really good at, and we kind of struggled through all of them. Going into Paris, we knew we should have been good there too, so after you qualify and, and lay down a pretty decent lap and realize that uh, you're not on the board or, or even in the hunt, uh, it's pretty frustrating. Just the teamwork to be able to do engine changes, it's hard to change that stuff. It ain't easy for these teams to be able to do what they do in a timely fashion, in a hurry, and under stress is pretty impressive. Take your time. Fucking do everything like that to be normal. Luckily with Ripper, you know, he came to me right after qualifying, said we should probably uh, change this engine, and I was a little more laid back and, and said, you know, let's just get through tonight, our last California race, and move on, and uh, Rip said, no, we're, we're changing this engine, and uh, yeah, probably one of the best decisions of our California swing. To get that done, go out, have a good heat, and line us up good for the feature and come out of there with the top five. Uh, you know, kind of made our, our pain of the West Coast swing not so bad. And the other one just don't feel like it had shit compared to it. Like it don't get off the corners, it don't run through the corner, nothing. And like we were good and free there too, so like yes. that helps too. Like I felt fucking great. One thing's yeah. the fucking motor makes it like that. Ah, tightens us up. Yeah. yeah. When the motor don't run, the car gets too fucked up. Because I could roll and that bottom You still know, we might have found a little bit of an issue that We've been working on the whole West Coast swing and, and kind of have a little bit better game plan going into the next. Bristol, the strain that it puts on our race cars is like no other place that we go to. You gotta have confidence in your car, your team, your equipment, and you know, know your stuff's not going to fall apart and get you to the end safely. Bristol's the gladiator effect for sure. You roll into that place and it's intense. I had a game plan. I just wanted I know, to make I a know. lap. <laughs> that gear helped a little bit. Yeah, that was nice. Both laps were good, but you moved a little lower that second one. Yeah, I just wanted to arc it. I watched all them guys. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that second one, you went a little lower down. I hit it too. I didn't want to miss it. Well, you hit it perfect. That was awesome. Yeah, my first lap, I was like, all right. I missed it over here my first lap. Yeah, yeah. Which didn't help. Yeah, but, it, that, but, but I just wanted to roll around the middle the first lap. Yeah. Just to get a lap. Yeah. Because if, if you miss that bottom, yeah. you're going so far bank that it's hard to see to your left and ahead of you. That makes it different, just trying to see ahead of you and making sure nothing's going on because a lap around there is wide open and uh, twitchy for sure. You got to make sure you're, you're nice and smooth and just make a clean lap. Hot lap and I didn't feel good. I was like going around there and just meh, meh, meh. Yeah. And then like qualifying, I just tried to hold it really still, but 
Like in the feature, it's easy to go around there, nice and straight. Uh, the feeling is probably the most intensified thing. Just your race car is way more responsive than anywhere else that we race just because of how fast we're going there. So. And, and the eight car, he, he got up pretty high one time and it looked like it was really loose up there. Yeah. The track looked pretty marbly. Right now, until they get it run in. Like I felt pretty snug, like if I entered up there and then I... Pretty snug. Just having them there uh, for me is huge and fun at the end of the day because, um, you know, all the time that I've been racing, my dad's been racing too. And when you're racing and, and your dad's out there too, you're, you're wondering about them even if you don't think you're wondering about them. Uh, just to have them there and, and not be worried about them and just know he's there to have a, a good time and hang out with me and Ripper and the team. And um, to me, that's it's pretty awesome, really. underway at Bristol Motor Speedway. On the move, the 17 of Sheldon Hodges showed a quick peek to the inside, slides up the banking, he'll get by Spencer, based and based and comes right back to his inside. They race for position number seven. Spencer Baston and Sheldon Hodges Hodgeshield to the low side out of turn number four to take the spot. Can I get him? You got it. That's what's the most frustrating part is, you know, we had a decent night, ran six, but, you know, we could have had a really good night uh, just getting into that dash and who knows what could have happened. You know, that's just how it goes sometimes. You live and you learn and move on to the next one. 